Hi, thanks for coming back to the chopping block. So you'll recall that I did a test for the AR15.com YouTube channel where I compared real ballistic gelatin to clear gel. And of course, if you're not already a member at ARFCOM, head on over there. There is some really great information and they've got some really informative YouTube videos too. While I was out there, I also tested 300 rip out in clear gel and no no don't laugh in clear gel and real ballistic gelatin I wanted to compare penetration depth but I also kind of wanted to see what was going on with this 300 rip out gimmick ammo let's have a look at it in real ballistic gelatin first Two zero eight five. All right. So you could ignore this. This is from me digging out some bullets from a previous test. We had Pretty early upset. Not bad for a 2,000 feet per second projectile. Looks like it broke apart. I'm guessing about here. Fragments got well away from the original track. That looks like that's probably the core. Oh yeah, you can see it much better there. That's not helping. <laughs> more I rub at it, the fuzzier it gets. But, yeah, I'm guessing that's the core. May find some more fragments as we cut it all apart. Oh, that's not too bad. You can kind of see it there. And, of course, oh, you know what, I might be able to just kind of There we go. Oh, that's still pretty warm. You can see the rifling marks on there. See where it broke off. So, some other YouTube guys have said that they can't poke their finger into this gel. But, maybe they're not just not as used to using their finger for stuff as I am <laughs> but it's just about as stiff now real gelatin tears more easily you can see that you can see that this is much more difficult to tear the clear gel but they're both about the same stiffness up until the point where they actually give, they feel a lot like pressing on someone's muscle. So of course the actual penetration measurement in clear gel is a little off. So it's going to be whatever the penetration was from the real gelatin plus a slightly inaccurate figure from the clear gel. So it's kind of an estimate, but still pretty deep at 23 inches. You know, I want to hate, I want to hate on the gimmick ammo, stuff like this, but again, it, it, it really seems to offer the best of both worlds with lots of fragmentation and then the cord gets reasonably deep and you know, you might not want that in a pistol round, but in a rifle round where you've got all that extra energy to spend ripping stuff up like that. Pardon the pun. It kind of makes sense, you know? Let me know what you think. If you think I got something wrong, if you think I'm way off base, let me know. I know that it's not a traditional round, but it at least penetrates deeply enough. And, you know, given that it's a rifle round, given that the majority of the damage still occurred out to 10 inches or so, I'd say, I don't know, that's fairly decent. 
<sighs> I'm kind of I'm kind of mixed on it. Let me know what you think.